Hey guys, so if you've seen any of my previous videos, you may have uh, watched me use this garlic paste that I use as a substitute for fresh garlic. Uh, so that's what today's video is about. I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, I'm actually going to show you two variants. I'm going to show you the basic original, and I'm going to show you one that is uh, pesto flavor. It is not a pesto sauce. Don't use this as a pesto sauce because uh, it'll be way too strong. Normal pesto does not call for that much garlic. It's going to be more of a pesto seasoning. So that's what we're doing today. Shout out to my mother-in-law for this recipe. She's the one that taught me how to do this, and I think it's, uh, it's really cool. So many of you might be, uh, when it comes to when it comes to garlic, many of you will, will most likely be using a jar of minced garlic. And I think that's an awesome substitute for uh, fresh garlic, not as far as flavor is concerned, not as far as like freshness is concerned, but as far as convenience is concerned. Because let's be real, having fresh garlic in your kitchen can be kind of cumbersome sometimes. You know, you have to buy it pretty frequently and then you have to peel it every time. So the jar of minced garlic is a great substitute for that. However, you'll hear me talk about this pretty often. You don't really know what goes into things. Like you can read the jar, but sometimes those words don't make sense. I mean, I don't know what half of those things are. It's got preservatives in it because it's gotta be jarred in some random factory in the middle of nowhere, shipped to your grocery store, where at least in my grocery stores, they just sit out, not even in a fridge, in, in the refrigerator. And who knows how long, like when I go to the grocery store, there's like 50 of them there. By the time it reaches the, you reach the back one, like how long has that been there? So this is a really great substitute. It's very simple, very easy, very quick to make that I think will be very helpful for you guys. So it's pretty straightforward. What you're gonna need is firstly, a, a bag of garlic. I like these guys. Spice World is the one that I use because it's really the only one I ever find. I am using a 16 ounce bag. They do come in different sizes and depending on what size you buy will dictate how much of the rest of the other ingredients you use. It's not a very exact thing. This isn't like baking. This is just kind of a kind of eyeball it situation. The other thing you're gonna need is an onion. Now, full disclosure, I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes I will be cooking something and I'm like, Oh, I only need half an onion. I cut half and then I save the rest. And then the next day I come in and I'm like, oh, I need another half. And I just forget <laughs> that there's another half in my fridge. Uh, I sometimes do this pretty often. And so what you see in that bowl is an amalgamation of a few onions that we've, that I've used over the last four days that I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use all of this for this video because that's who I am. Sometimes I just gotta use what I got. So this is about a whole medium onion and that's what you're going for for this recipe. You're also gonna need some olive oil. I recommend using extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna use about three quarters of a cup. This is light olive oil just because that's what I have in my pantry. Both work. You can also use avocado oil. I would not use canola or vegetable or peanut. I, I would say there's two different kinds of oils for me. There's like the ones that I would use in sauces and there's the ones that I would use for deep fry. Don't use anything you would use for deep frying. Like, I don't recommend you ever deep fry in olive oil, but you would deep fry in peanut oil. That's kind of the distinction. So you can use avocado oil and olive oil, olive oil. Then the little variant for the pesto style, you need some parsley and a little bit of basil. Uh, you can use Italian parsley or you can use curly parsley. It'll change the flavor slightly and whatever you're feeling. Oh, the last thing you're gonna need is food processor. So let me grab mine. You know cabinets are tall when I'm going down my tippy toes. Okay, so first step. Open. This is the garlic bag. Recently, I have noticed that sometimes there's a garlic peel or two in this thing, in these bags. So just give it a quick, quick once over. It's not gonna ruin anything, but it's more for my sanity. Okay, toss it all in, and then we're going to throw the onions in. Um, you don't have to chop much. Let's see. You don't have to chop much. I'm just gonna kind of quarter what I got so that it helps the food process a little bit. Helps the food processor a little bit, but peel your onions, at least two layers. You don't want the thin, gross stuff. We've talked about this. It's the grossest thing, leathery onions. Then we're gonna throw about 
half of the oil because we're gonna start it and then we can put some more after. Now, this is a process to make just a basic garlic spread. Then, once this is done, we're gonna jar it and save about half of it and make the pesto style. Okay, so we're gonna start on, uh, I got slice here. There's mixing and there's chopping pulse. I'm gonna start on slice is the medium level. I'm using a food processor because I'm going for more of a chopped feel. However, if you were to use a blender, you'd go for more of a paste feel, but there isn't much of a difference. So if all you got is a blender, go for it. I just prefer the more of a, the more of a chopped feel. It's, it's a very fine chop, very minced. However, y'all can use both, either or, not both. So once you go for about 30 to 40 seconds, pause it and you'll see that it looks like that. Um, and we're gonna just push down from the sides, kind of mix it, make sure nothing is too high up. And honestly, we are almost there. We just, we wanna go for a, a little bit of a finer, more fine um, consistency. So we're gonna spread the rest of the oil. If you're using a food processor and you want more of a pureed feel, you put more oil. If you want more of a chopped feel, you put less oil. So we're just gonna go for about another 30 to 40 seconds and then we're pretty much done. Cool. Okay. And that's it. Um, as you can see, it is somewhere in between a spread and a chop, which is kind of what we're going for. So once you get to the spot, you're good to jar. Uh, I'm gonna put about half of this into this jar, take about half, and then we will do the pistol style. So the applications. This is really, really good for anywhere you need fresh garlic. My favorite things to use this for are um, meats. If you're ever rubbing something on chicken, if you're doing like a pernil, you can uh, mix this with more oil and spices and it does a kind of like a wet rub. It's not real, that's not really a thing, but you know what I mean. This goes great into guac. If you watched last week's episode, which was the chimichurri rice, you'll see that I used it in the rice. This is basically an all-purpose garlic spread that you can use for anything. If a recipe calls for, if it calls for fresh garlic, this is a good substitute. Any sauces you make, this is, it's, it's just really great. If you're making some kind of pasta, next week's episode is gonna be a pasta and I am going to use this. You can put this in the sauce and um, chilies, great for chilies because it spreads out very evenly. It's honestly just a really cool and awesome thing that I love using all the time. We're gonna move on to the pesto. Just gonna go back on here and we're gonna throw a few sprigs of parsley as well as the basil. Not super exact. My favorite variant of this garlic spread is to use cilantro. However, I feel like I've used a lot of cilantro on this channel, so I wanted to change it up. So let us go. Now we are gonna end up with more of a pureed consistency, but that's okay. Again, it doesn't matter. Now what we're going for is just to make sure that there's no real big pieces. You don't want, like right here, there's a huge stem. We're just making sure that as much of the parsley and basil is chopped up. You don't wanna be able to tell, is that parsley or is that basil? Let's see. Ooh, yeah. I see one or two stems in there that I'm gonna fish out. Um, so they're not jarred up, but other than that, that is the consistency you are going for. Just make sure that there's no big pieces. So my wife makes a really good point. Uh, what you can do is just half the bag at the beginning and then chop the garlic as we just did and then do another batch with all the other stuff because then it will chop the parsley for longer. But I didn't do that because I didn't think to do that. This would be really great with chicken. Rub this over some chicken breast, chicken thigh, put this over uh, some fish and then cook it in the oven. Tastes really good. So there you go. Uh, pesto, garlic spread, seasoning thing, and just the all-purpose garlic. Easy peasy. Now that I'm thinking about it though, um, I highly recommend going with my wife's tactic, which is to split up the bag from the get-go and do your different portions separately. But this works also if you're kind of lazy and don't feel like doing that. Although that's only one extra step. And I bet you it would produce a much better product. But see, that's the thing about cooking, home cooking. Because if you're in a, in, in a kitchen, 
you're done because you messed up. But home cookies, fun. You're gonna mess up, you're gonna learn, you're gonna take notes for the next time. And I just took a note for the next time, uh, but unfortunately, mine was on camera. So now the world knows. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please like the video. Thumbs up, helps the channel a lot. Uh, as well as subscribing. I put up weekly videos of different recipes that I think are pretty straightforward, pretty simple, not too much, and um, not too much, but would make your home cooking just slightly better. That's the point of all this, right? So anyways, thanks for watching and have a nice day.